Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the room and the signal to noise ratio. You know, we hear the term signal to noise ratio all the time and really noise has a lot to do with resolution and there's noise everywhere. You know, there's noise. We can, we can call it an error rate in our system, you know. That's what designers, I think, always fight, especially speaker and cable amplifier designers you know this there's noise in everything there's there's noise in power circuits there's noise in transformers there's just noise in everything and i think those designers that are able to master that noise level and eliminate it or you know reduce it to a point where you can't hear it that's how you get resolution cuz you've pushed the technology as far as you can and then now we work on uh, mitigating the noise issues. I can't believe the difference in cables today after 15 or 20 years of not buying cables at all or using them that much. Um, quite a difference. Well, they got a handle on the noise. They figured out how to get the noise out of the deal. You know, some send it to ground, some isolate, some do lots of other things. There's different ten techniques. They run the the power lines in a series. There, there's lots of attempts to do it. Some do it better than obvious, others, obviously. And that's what makes it uh, fun. So we have cable, amps, noise distortion, same. But room, here's the thing. Room has the same signal to noise ratio as all other components in our system. You've got, what do you got? You got room modes, reverb, speaker boundary interfere effect, reflections, diffusion, um, all kinds of things that go on in the room. So there's your noise. And what's the signal? Well, music source produces that straight line energy, right? We like that straight line energy from out of our speakers. It's traveling the shortest distance to our ears and it doesn't include the reflections or room sound. So let's call it straight line or direct energy. And that's the energy without reflection. So without the room sound. And that's really what we're after. Now, do we need a little bit of room sound? Absolutely. You know, we, we don't want a reflection free environment. That's an anechoic chamber. But we want to manage the reflections. We want to reduce the time signature so that this reflection, the primary, arrives past the direct, so it's behind it. So the direct first, and that's, that's the goal. And how do you do that? Well, you do it with rate and level of absorption. So each one of these processes has something to, to be considered. Yeah, one, this is really good too. Once the energy leaves the speaker, the room owns it. Speaker has no control after that. Speaker doesn't have a lot of control anyway, but they're always the weakest link in the system. But speakers, once that energy leaves the uh, speaker, becomes the domain of the room. It baffles me that some speaker manufacturers claim that their speakers reduce reverb times in a room. I just don't know how that's possible. That's that's a real reach for marketing. You know, that can't be. So once energy leaves the speaker, it becomes the room domain. The reflections smother across the direct sound. You know, this could be a speaker on stage. You're in the audience. It could be a lot of different situations. So reflection time signatures, they change, right? Because they got to travel farther. This goes straight. These got to go like this. So more time and stuff. Reflection travel farther distance, that's where you get that time signature delay. And you want to keep all of this in a certain time window. We'll talk about that sometimes. So, room signal to noise ratio, signal to noise ratio, been in all of our components, and it's, it's the same in rooms. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website, 
where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.